What a fantastic night we've had here in Tralee this evening. Marvellous crowd. We've had some rain, but who minds that on a night like this? Great racing. Still going on, by the way. Huge crowd. The atmosphere is fantastic. And with me, I have Liam Lynch to look back on the night. Liam, you're one of the, you're the man behind all this. And the organisation that went into it paid off in stacks here tonight. Yeah, Michael, it's been a fantastic night from start to finish. We started this project, and I underlined the word we because it's a team. We started this project about eight months ago, nine months ago. We've brought a lot of support here. And from people like yourself, from the county board in Kerry, it's been a fantastic night. It's the biggest crowd we've ever had in Tralee, and it's fantastic racing. So thanks to everybody. It's the culmination of a long dream. Well, they say they know how to do things down here in Kerry. They certainly do. I mentioned we've saw some great racing. The race of champions but first of all let's look at the Kerry Supporters Club on race final a very interesting lineup for this one the final of the Kingdom Stadium Supporters Club on race and in one Stone Park Crash chairman by Michael O'Donovan for Michael Dwyer son of Crash and Adored he's the favourite in two L Miller chairman by Peter Cronin for Margaret Walsh a son of Crash and Mandeville Black noted as a strong stare in three another early paced runner Jamaira Mann owned by Jimmy Buckley chairman by Pat Buckley son of Premier Fantasy and Droopy just hot. Then in four, Rattling Joe, which is trained by Massey O'Connor for Pat Sheehy, a son of Crash and World Lark. In five, we have Pat O'Connor's I Can Do Magic, owned by Marlon and Smith, a son of Kinlock Bray and Thorns and Roses, another powerful finisher. While in six, we have the second of the Pat O'Connor trained runners, Voltaire Rumble, owned by Sean Morn and Jimmy Kelly, a son of Ace High Rumble and Shelburne Merck. The hair now on its way. In one is Stone Park Crash, two El Miller, three Jamera Man, four Rattling Joe, five I Can Do Magic, and six Voltaire Rumble. The favourite in one. And away they go, pretty level start. The favourites out well, though Stone Park Crash throws six. Voltaire Rumble into the corner, and it's number one, the leader. Stone Park Crash, the favourite, leads into the back. Now pursued by El Miller in second. This one is noted as a stair. There's two lengths in it. Stone Park Crash in front. El Miller is coming through up the inside. Will he get through into the third corner? Still Stone Park, but El Miller, a clash between them. El Miller now takes over, and it's a bit of a battle on for second. And El Miller in front, Voltaire Rumble, and... Number five, I can do magic getting into it, but number two here, the winner, L. Miller, wins it very nicely indeed at the line. Looks as though I can do magic, the strong finishing second. The time, 28.81. The result of the unraised final, and winner number two, L. Miller, trained by Peter Cronin. Second was five, I can do magic. And third, number six, Voltaire Rumble, the time, 28.81. Well, a great victory there for L. Miller, trained by Peter Cronin in the final of that unraised stake. But the one that the big crowd was here for tonight, they've travelled from England, all corners of Ireland, for the Betdak Race of Champions final. A tremendous lineup, and I'm sure it's going to be a great contest. Now we're on to the big race of the night, the Betdak Race of Champions final. Here with a winner's prize of 15,000 euro, and in one, Razzle Dazzle Riga, trained by Dolores Ruth for Mihola Mirahertig, a son of Brett Lee and Razzle Dazzle Pearl, favourite in the ring, and the one to beat. Two, Bally McVick, trained by Liam Dowling, a son of Kidlock Bray and Bally McVicky, noted for his early pace to a local runner. In three is Droopy's Jet, trained by Fraser Black, for the blunt Wakefield Taggart Syndicate, son of Slip the Lark and Droopy's Mo, another early pacer. Then in four, we have the Produce Stakes winner, Power of God, trained by Owen McKenna, for Anthony O'Sullivan, a son of Headbound and Money Goal Larky. In five, Shelburne Jeff, which is owned by Pat Curtin and trained by him, the son of Where's Pedro and Shelburne Dora, strong finisher. And six, Bubbly Phoenix, the English challenger, trained by Paul Young for the Champagne Club. This fellow is son of College Causeway and Droopy's top gal. And so the hair now on its way for the final of the Betdak Race of Champions in one. Razzle Dazzle Riga, two, Bally McVick, three, Droopy's Jet in four, Power of God, five, Shelburne Jeff, six, Bubbly Phoenix. A lot of money for Jeff, but Razzle Dazzle Riga the favourite. In one as the hair comes up behind traps. And away to go, Riga's away well. So is two, Bally McVick. These are leading to the corner. Riga sticking to the rail, leading from two, Bally McVick. Just about a half a length in it around the opening corner. Increase that now to a length, and Razzle Dazzle Riga goes on by a length and a half into the back from two, Bally McVick. On the inside, Droopy's Jet and Bobby Phoenix on the outside. But Riga has a length and a half in hand. Now onto the bottom bend. Bally McVick rallying in second. It looks between the pair of them. Droopy's Jet running on, but it's Razzle Dazzle Riga. Tight railing, gains ground there. Goes on to win it. Bally McVick in second and Droopy's Jet in third so the favourite does it that's Razzle Dazzle Riga perfectly drawn and running a huge race winning in a very fast time of 29.58 and the result
result of the Bet Dac Race of Champions. The winner, number one, Razzle Dazzle Riga, trained by Dolores Ruth for Michal Amir Hertig. Second, number two, Barry McVick. And third, number three, Droopy's Jet, time 29.58. The break was always going to be vital in this race. Would Razzle Dazzle Riga come away from one? He did. Came away smartly. So did Bally McVick. The pair had been front of the corner. Vick moves wide. That gives Riga that advantage onto the bend. A half a length there. It's gone to a length of the second bend. Now he increases. He even goes two lengths in front and halfway here. On the outside of this stage, Bubbly Phoenix gets into it, but he's then outpaced by Drubby's Jet and Shelburne Jeff into the third bend. Both of those get hampered at that spot, and suddenly the two in front are clear, and Razzle Dazzle Riga tight railing again. Vick moves out to the middle, and Riga wins it. Decided by tracking and the early pace and going to that bend, and Razzle Dazzle Riga wins it. Big race from the second and third there, Bally McVick and Drupi's Jet also. Dolores, yet again, another big race victory. Razzle Dazzle Riga, again, Laurel's winner. Marvellous. Absolutely marvellous, fantastic. Um, he was def definitely king of the kingdom tonight, and uh, what a performance he put up. Um, what a win for Michal. Uh, it just doesn't get any better. And uh, to win for Michal at his you know, local track as such, and uh, a Kerry man, and uh, this is just a dream. I went down to the traps. I watched it from the trap position, outside the railing, of course. His nose was first to appear. He stayed in front all the way around. I still don't know what he won by, but kept ahead, took all the bends exceptionally well. He's a brilliant railer. Some very good dogs behind him. On the night, he had the luck to get out in front, and he stayed in front. And it's a good way to be. You've, you've won the race of champions. You've won the laurels. You're dreaming of the derby now, no doubt. Well, I'll talk to Dolores about that. Maybe you have already... She's asked. already said you're going. Yeah, yeah, book, she, book your suit. If Dolores says it, who am I to say we're not going? <laughs>